Imagine becoming an ESL professor and being able to study all from the comfort of your own home. Well, guess what? In today's video, I'm going to share the exact steps on how exactly I became an ESL professor all from the comfort of my own home while being a stay-at-home mom of two young children. I never had to step into a university, so make sure you continue watching if this is something you are interested in. And oh yeah, I'm going to share the secrets of how much exactly ESL instructors make in Canada. So keep watching so you know exactly how much they make. Assalamu alaikum everyone. I have so many people always asking me, how do I become an ESL teacher in Canada? How much do ESL teachers make? And what credentials do I need to teach ESL in Canada? So in today's video, I'm actually going to uncover all these questions I usually get from you guys. This is not really IELTS related, but if you do want to teach IELTS, it's super essential that you have these credentials so that way you are paid for your skills and your experience. So let's begin. So I actually completed my bachelor's degree from Brock University, which was an online degree. This degree took me, uh, I did it on a part-time basis, so it took me about six years because once again, I did it part-time because I am a mother of two children, so this was just dependent on my own schedule. However, if you do take it on a full-time workload, meaning uh, fall semester, winter semester, and summer semester, you can complete this program within three years. So after completing my bachelor's degree, I actually went on to pursue a master's degree in teaching English as a second language, I should say. I completed a master's degree from the University of Ottawa, which was an 18 month master's degree. During this time, I did take this program during COVID. And at that time, Obviously, all the classes got pushed online. However, this was an in-person class and they do offer this program online. So within 18 months, I completed my master's degree. I did take a full-time course load just to quickly uh, complete my degree as I was in a strict timeline. Upon completing my master's degree, from the University of Ottawa, I went on to pursue my teaching certificate. So one thing I want to note is you actually do not even need a master's degree in order to teach in Canada if you want to teach adults. So let me repeat that. If you want to teach ESL to adults, the only thing you require is your bachelor's degree as well as your teaching credentials. So the teaching credentials I took was from Sheridan College. So, so Sheridan College has three certificates in one program, which is the TESOL Ontario certificate. You will get TESOL Canada as well as CELTA certificate. So if you are familiar with these three certificates, then you could skip this part, however, the TESOL Ontario certification is actually for those students or for those of you who are interested in teaching in within Ontario. However, if you do plan on teaching anywhere outside of Ontario, maybe Calgary, maybe uh, you want to move to Halifax, up to you, then you would require a TESOL Canada certification. And speaking of practice, ladies, if you're looking to join a community where you will be able to practice your speaking, then you might find my IELTS Speaking Ladies Club really interesting. This ladies club is actually uh, hosted over Zoom. I actually teach you ladies. We go over different IELTS speaking mock tests. I give you feedback and I give you any suggestions, tips, on anywhere you, I think you can improve on. If you are interested in this ladies club, make sure you join down below. I've made it specifically for those of you who are stay-at-home moms, 
who have lots of responsibility of taking care of your children and maybe you want to learn English from home and you want to become that confident English speaker, check the description box down below. And then as uh, the CELTA certificate is very beneficial if you ever plan to teach abroad or a lot of people actually because CELTA is so reputable, a lot of employers actually benefit from this and will hire you here in Canada because you do have a CELTA certificate and because they know how difficult the course is to receive your CELTA certificate. So after I completed all three certifications, which were combined in one program, which was so beneficial. I actually, Alhamdulillah, I was able to land a job at a college in Ontario, which is a public funded college. So depending on where you plan to work, uh, you can get a job within the government sector, with the public college sector, or even at a private college if you wish to. So uh, let me talk about some perks of working for each and also some drawbacks of working for each. So some drawbacks of working for like cons, negative things of working for a public college is that your job is actually contingent upon uh, contract to contract. So every semester, you actually get a contract depending on if there are enough students enrolling in this particular course or program. But because Canada is such a diverse and multicultural place where there's newcomers literally arriving to Canada daily, uh, Alhamdulillah, there's been no issues with receiving new contracts for jobs every semester, which has been great. But it's important to note that some semesters you may get a 10 hour contract and the next semester you may get like an 18 hour contract. So this just depends on the amount of classes that students enroll in and that's when you are able to either work more or work less. However, the pay is really good for public colleges so it's definitely worth uh, sticking around and working for a public college. So let's move on to private colleges. So before I go into private colleges, actually, I'd like to go into government affiliated programs such as LINK. So the LINK program actually is a government funded free program for newcomers. They get when they arrive to Canada, they are able to take English classes for free to learn English. And these jobs pay up to 40, 35, I would say to $45 an hour. They are a lot more secure than working at a private college because they are permanent roles. Sometimes they are only one year roles because they are government funded. So depending on the workplace you apply to, they could have a one year contract. They could have a permanent contract, right? It just depends. So they are a lot more secure and you do get lots of benefits with working with LINK, uh, such as uh, medical insurance, vacation time, er all the perks that a full-time job would give you. And then moving along to the private sector, uh, private colleges actually pay a lot less. I've seen from $15 to $30 the pay. Um, there are so many different private colleges here in Canada. Uh, although the pay is not that great, it's a great place to start uh, for you to build on your experiences of becoming an ESL teacher. One thing I do want to note, guys, is that you do not need to be a native English speaker in order to become an ESL teacher in Canada. As long as you have the credentials, this is going to show the workplace that you are fluent in English or you are at that particular level they are looking for. So remember that you do not need to be a native English speaker of Canada. However, you need to have the right credentials that they require. 
And guys, next I wanted to note is that you need to network your way through uh, actually getting a job, landing a job is very difficult these days as you know and the way i networked my way through is landing this job that i currently have is literally reaching out to managers on linkedin seeing a job post that may be available and just going for it literally writing them a message and saying you know i am a graduate of so and so i have the right credentials to be an esl teacher are there any roles available and that's it honestly guys it's really easy to network your way through getting a job rather than applying for a job and being on that stack of other potential employees who are also looking for a job so make that effort and literally go out there be proactive try to volunteer and the best thing is if you are able to graduate from a college that is looking to hire their students, that's even more beneficial to you. So I know I have a friend who worked at a particular college and uh, because she took the TESOL program in that particular college, they actually ended up hiring her just because they were able to see what, time, what type of work ethic she has throughout her practicum, which is the hours that you need to complete in order to graduate from the TESOL Ontario uh, program. So guys, I hope you liked this video. It was so raw, honestly. I have no notes, no script for this video. I just get so many people always asking me, how do I become an ESL teacher? Where do I begin? Uh, can I become an ESL teacher even without being an, a native English speaker? Yes. Yes, you can. And if you want more information, then check my description box down below. I've written all the links there. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. If you are looking to prepare for your IELTS exam, make sure you check out my videos because this is what's going to help you get accepted to the programs you need in order to become that ESL teacher you always dreamt of in Canada. Take care and I hope to see you on my next video. Assalamu alaikum.